Hello there, it's Sev from Three Counties Motorhomes and welcome to this video guide on the Vegas control panel. Now there can be two versions of this as far as I'm aware, and one with the water tank capacity button and one where this is just a blank. Now to turn the panel on is very easy, we just press the power button and that will turn on your vehicle's 12 volt system. This is the lights master switch right here. This is the outside awning light button right there. And then we have the water pump button. Now, before you turn on your water pump, you must always make sure that your internal taps are all closed. And if you have a boiler drain valve, please make sure that that is also closed. That makes sure that when water starts running, it's not gonna end up anywhere it shouldn't. Now, then you can press to turn on your water pump. Now, when the water pump is running, you will see a little green indicator. I'm just leaning to turn this vehicle's uh, tap on. So we should see, as you can see, a little green light at the far end of the indicator here to indicate that the water pump is indeed running. Then here we have a button that we can press to see the vehicle uh, leisure battery voltage. So there is the leisure battery voltage right there as the indicator. And this one here we press and hold to see the water tank capacity. There we go. When your waste tank is full and needs emptying or is getting that way, the lowest indicator here will illuminate, which typically will be red as you can see when I show the indicator there. So that one, that very bottom line will illuminate to indicate your waste tank needs attention. Now, there is actually a calibration method that you can use for um, your water tank, which is very handy. So if, for example, you've had to change water tank or if you just think that the water level is not indicating correctly, there is a calibration method. Now, before the calibration is done, you need to make sure that your water tank is absolutely brimming full. It needs to be at its absolute maximum capacity. Uh, before you start the calibration process. And um, basically what we're going to do is to hold down both the voltage button and the water level button. So that's these two right here. You're gonna hold both of those down for six to eight seconds to enter calibration mode. And when you're in calibration mode, the display indicator will light up to indicate which water probe you have installed. So if you have a pressure probe, you will see the second uh, from the left light up there. If it's a five prong probe, you'll see the middle indicator light up here. And if it's a resistive probe, you will see the fourth indicator light up just there. To cancel the calibration mode, just press and hold the leisure battery voltage button for two seconds. So just press and hold that for two seconds to cancel the um, calibration process. And then to actually start the calibration process, you're going to hold the water level button for two seconds. So this one will cancel. This one, if you hold it, will accept and start the calibration process. If the calibration process was successful, the display will flash three times. But it will uh, be ready to um, use the control panel again. The control panel will restart itself essentially and make itself ready to use. But if it was unsuccessful, the display will flash two times. And if the process fails, then you're going to go back to um, seeing which water probe you have installed. And then you're going to have to restart the calibration process again and try again. Lastly, the other feature that this uh, panel has is if you're draining down your vehicle for winter or any other reason and you want to use the pump to help you purge your water pipes, you can press and hold the uh, water pump button and that will run the pump regardless of the water tank level, which can be very, very handy. And that's essentially it for the Vegas control panel. Um, if you have the version that doesn't have the water level button, then essentially it's all exactly the same, just without the water tank calibration process, of course, without the water tank indicator itself. Um, but the waste, if you have a waste tank fitted still, then that indicator will still illuminate to show you have a, a full waste tank, but the voltage indicator for your battery will work as normal. And that wraps up the guide. I hope it's been useful. I'm Sev. I hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for watching.